Elon Musk for years has touted SpaceX's compound in Boca Chica as the gateway to Mars, as it's to be the first point of contact from which his firm would launch its huge starship to ferry astronauts to the moon and the crimson planet. However, Musk now is apparently abandoning the idea of making Starbase his premier launch site. Instead, he's turning the South Texas facility right into an analysis and improvement hub and shifting most orbital launch operations to Florida. NASA wants Elon Musk's SpaceX to ensure its plan to launch its next generation Starship rocket from Florida would not put nearby infrastructure critical to the International Space Station at risk. The new hurdle further complicates and could potentially delay the launch plan for the rocket, which faces an already protracted regulatory review of its launch site in Texas. SpaceX's proposals to address NASA's concerns, which include a plan to be able to launch U.S. astronauts from a different launch pad in Florida, could take months to get agency approval. SpaceX last year accelerated construction of an orbital Starship launch pad at its facilities in Cape Canaveral, Florida, as an alternative to the rocket's primary test launch and development site in Boca Chica, Texas, which has been subject to a lengthy regulatory review set to conclude next week. But one of SpaceX's existing Florida facilities, called Launch Complex 39A, at NASA's Kennedy Space Center on the coast of Cape Canaveral is the only pad approved to launch the company's Crew Dragon capsule. NASA depends on that spacecraft to ferry its astronauts to the ISS. SpaceX has leased Pad 39A since 2014 and conducted dozens of Falcon rocket launches out of the facility since its first use in 2017. Prior to SpaceX's lease, Pad 39A supported 82 space shuttle launches from 1981 to 2011, and every Apollo program launched to the moon in the 1960s and 1970s, making it one of the most storied and well-used launch sites in the history of U.S. spaceflight. In 2018, Pad 39A began supporting launches for SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which was and still is the most powerful and capable rocket currently in operation. In May of 2020, a Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon spacecraft lifted off with two NASA astronauts in tow, marking SpaceX's first human spaceflight and the United States' first domestic astronaut launch of any kind since 2011. The next era of the historic pad could include Starship, a fully reusable two-stage rocket that SpaceX has been developing in earnest since the mid-2010s. However, NASA is worried that a failure of that immense and unproven rocket could almost instantly destroy what is currently the only launch pad on Earth capable of launching the space agency's astronauts to the ISS. We all recognize that if you had an early failure like we did on one of the early SpaceX flights, it would be pretty devastating to 39A. Kathy Luters, NASA's space operations chief, said in an interview of the agency's discussions with SpaceX. SpaceX did not return a request for comment. SpaceX instead has already invested heavily in building a Starship pad some hundreds of feet from Pad 39A's launch tower. It has responded by pitching NASA on a plan to outfit its other Florida pad, Launch Complex 40, five miles away on Space Force property with the means to launch U.S. astronauts according to a person familiar with the plans. The company is also studying ways to harden 39A, or make the launch pad more resilient to both an explosive Starship accident and the immense forces emitted from a successful Starship liftoff, looters said. SpaceX is working with us on those things, because it's also in their best interest to not have what is a pretty steady source of income for them become interrupted, she added. Part of SpaceX's challenge is to show that 39A will not be damaged by Starship's novel liquid oxygen and methane fuel, a combination of propellants that NASA and U.S. regulators are not familiar with. Like Randy Repchek, a deputy manager in the Federal Aviation Administration's Office of Commercial Space Transportation, which oversees launch pad safety, pointed out, the problem is the explosive potential for that combination is not well known. Starship is a two-stage reusable rocket system designed to launch commercial satellites to Earth orbit and humans to the Moon and Mars. NASA last year picked SpaceX to use Starship for the agency's first launch of U.S. astronauts to the lunar surface since the days of the Apollo program. 
The rocket's next big test, a complex task of launching to orbit for the first time, has been delayed in part by the regulatory review of the Texas Compound's environmental impact statement, which has precluded the FAA from granting SpaceX its orbital launch license. Now, with more than 75 actions to mitigate its environmental impact on the area, the FAA continues to delay the Starship program. Which brings us to why Musk accelerated the construction of the Starship launch pad at the Cape. Now we do have the alternative of the Cape, and we, we actually applied for environmental approval for launch from the Cape a few years ago and received it. Musk said at a Starship update event in February, estimating it would take six, six or six to eight months to build up uh, the, the Cape launch tower and launch from there. SpaceX has just begun building the Florida Starship launch site earlier this year. Less than half a year after the company restarted work on a Starship launch pad located just a few hundred feet away from existing Falcon launch facilities at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, otherwise known as the KSC LC-39 pad, a massive new launch tower has begun to take shape. Interestingly enough, SpaceX is now heading to the first Florida launch tower's full stacking in the upcoming days. After the rollout of Segment 8 on August 31st, it was finally lifted over the weekend. And now, with eight sections, the tower reaches an approximate height of 135.7 meters or 443 feet, much taller than the existing fixed service structure at Pad 39A, left over from the Space Shuttle program, which is currently used to support Falcon 9 crew launches. Amazingly, SpaceX's ninth and final tower segment is heading to Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. A crane at the pad will stack the section to complete the buildup of the tower structure. There is more work to do after that. For the tower to be truly complete, SpaceX will need to finish and install three arms and connect one of those arms to ground supplies of Starship gases and propellant located at Pad 39A. Because 39A has never needed methane, which is Starship's fuel of choice, that step also requires the installation and activation of a new tank farm and plumbing capable of storing, rapidly subcooling, and distributing at least a thousand tons or around 2.2 million pounds of liquid methane. All of this will likely take weeks or months to complete. Regardless, Starbase Florida is making significant progress, but a lot of work still stands between SpaceX and launch readiness. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.